This is a tale of two friends who were purchasing homes right next door to each other. Very similar people in many ways. Both make $75,000 a year. Both have $40,000 in savings, and neither one has any other significant debt. Both are purchasing homes that cost $200,000. The first homeowner is very wise, doesn't like debt, and quite frankly feels more secure when things are paid for. The idea is that the sooner everything is paid for, the sooner he can retire. So he decided to use his savings as a down payment and found a low interest rate 15 year mortgage, almost a half a point less than the rate on a 30 year mortgage. This left enough in his budget that he pays an extra $100 per month towards principal. Bottom line, he'll be out of debt in less than 15 years. The second homeowner is also very wise, but looks at things a little differently. He takes out a 30 year mortgage, puts down the least amount possible, and doesn't pay one extra penny towards early payoff. Figures he would rather have some cash on hand and invest some money. So he matches the amount his neighbor spends on his mortgage plus that extra $100 payment. So after making his mortgage payment, he invests the rest. 15 years go by, the first homeowner throws a party because his home is paid for. Now that he has no payments, he's able to save what he was spending every month, so he puts it in an investment account. The second homeowner still has 15 more years of house payments, and he's never made an extra house payment, but he does continue to add to his investment account every month. So to be fair, let's fast forward 15 more years. The second homeowner has paid off his mortgage and he throws a party. 30 years of house payments are over. The first homeowner congratulates the second homeowner on finally getting his home paid for and then smiles and tells him that since he had paid his home off early, he now has $600,000 in addition to a mortgage-free home. The second homeowner says, that's too bad. I now have my home paid for, and I have $1.1 million in the bank. I could have paid it off the same time you did, but it just didn't make sense to have all my eggs in one basket. Besides, I wanted to make sure I had cash in reserve just in case I couldn't work or had an emergency, and I really hated to lose the home interest tax deduction. I hope this story gets you thinking. I'm not necessarily saying that you should follow the strategy of the second homeowner because it depends on your situation and how disciplined you are. But I will say that every homeowner should have a cash reserve just in case of emergencies, then consider what's best for you in the long run. If you have questions about your homeowning strategy, send me a message or give me a call. 615-394-1823. I'll be glad to help.